Right, 21. Today I'll be showing you how to get Microsoft Things Simulator for free. Uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Uh, first of all, you have to go on your internet browser and go onto a link in the description box. Skip for it to load. Okay, it should come like this. Uh, and then all you have to do now is click here, download this torrent. Okay, so you just click on it, save file, BitTorrent, and then press OK. I'm not going to do that, but you should just press OK, and then um, open it up and press Start Torrent. Uh, yeah, that's how you download this torrent. And then after you download the torrent, uh, you'll need to get. Uh, you should go to File first, so it should probably be in your Downloads. Yep, here it is. MSTS, which for your name should be. Right, so click on it. And then it should come up like this. So, what you have to do now is you have to get something called Power ISO. Um, if you've really got it, then that's good. But um, uh, to get Power ISO, just go on the link in the description box and install it. That's it. And then, um, uh, so click on pa uh, Power ISO now. Okay, it should come up by nothing like it. And what you have to do now is go on um, options, configuration, and just select all of them. And then on virtual drive, you'll need at least one drive. And that's it, so just press OK. Once you've done that, you should now go on press here, mount, mount image to drive, no media thing, I should say. Click that. And then you should. Um, yeah, if it's already not in this folder, then um, you should just find it wherever you put the file that I showed you just now. So mine would be here. So downloads and this folder. You click on it. The uh, double click it, and then um, wh where it says MSTS one. Okay, click on that one. Not the second one. We'll need that later. But first one first. So MSTS one, and we'll click open. Okay, now nothing should have happened there, and then you click computer, start computer, and then local, and then here, I meant sorry, uh, it says CD drive F and SES CD1. So double click that, allow, and wait for that load. It should do this. It should like, yep, should go like that. And all you have to do now is click, is click. Um, it should, because I've already got it on my computer, so that's why it should play. But uh, if you haven't got, it, then you should have to click install. Okay, that's all you do. Just install and follow details on the installer. And then, and um, when it asks for this too, that's what I'm gonna show you now. And um, when it says this too, um, click unmount drive. Okay. And then click mount image to the drive, no media, again. Okay, just click that. And then click the second one, MSTS2. Okay, and then now press open. Okay, now go back to computer. Well, actually, you don't need to do that, actually. Um, where it says um, insert this too. And then um, on the installer, and then you should press OK. And that should automatically find it for you. Press OK. Once you've done that. Just follow instructions on the um, installer, it's very simple to do. And yes, all you basically do. And then um, once that's done, you can close everything. And then it should make an icon um, over here called Train Simulator. I just made it myself Train Simulator, it just looks better. But um, it should just be called Train Simulator. Um, and then you double click that, and then that's your game. Uh, the installer for this game should only take about uh, 13 minutes. That's I think that's how long it took me last time. 
I downloaded do this. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, so if you like my video and this actually works, please subscribe, rate, and comment. And part two one out.